Yo, what's up guys? This is Kay from Lunar Light Games and thanks for dropping back in. Hello and welcome to our channel. If you are new, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. Help us keep growing our channel. And if you're looking for other ways to help support our channel, we also have Super Chat and Super Thanks available, as well as our channel membership. So check those out if you guys are interested or hit up our PayPal at paypal.me slash lunarlightgames anyways let me go ahead and get set up here and then we will get moving hope you guys are having a great Monday afternoon or whenever you're watching this a great day in general all right where did we leave off last time with this? Right. I think we had just returned from... performing the Four Shrine boss event. So, let me go ahead and get set up here and get caught up. I think currently we're at a point of no return so if you have anything left you want to do any side quests make sure to do them if you're missing some items that you would like to hold on to make sure to go around the purchase I mean go and go around and make some purchases at the shops because some of them will become unavailable once we get into this four Namely, these are the shops you might want to look into. Check out the Black Mage Village. The weapon shop over there. You can also check out Mimosa's Mock Shop. That's in Ilvert. Or Mojito's Mock Shop in the Desert Palace. Those two areas are still accessible at this point in the game. Check out Estogaza's shop. As well as a shop in Daguerreo. Now beyond that, there are some missable items in case you haven't picked them up yet. There's a diamond in Kondapiti, a moonstone in Kondapiti Mountain Path, the naming way card in the Desert Palace, um, Mount Gulag in general, so if you're still looking to learn Frost for Quina, now's probably your last chance before the final dungeon. And also, I think Mustard Bomb as well. Portions of Fossil Roo are still accessible at this point. All the various gates like North and South Gate. And if you're trying to do Mord's Coffee's side quest, uh, make sure to pick up the Mocha Coffee from Bone Arch. Let's see, the Ice Cavern, that place will become inaccessible later. Same thing with the Aoife Tree. And I guess the Observatory Mountain. Yilvert and Pinnacle Rocks. Alright, last call for these side quests. So if you're looking to complete everything, make sure you do Mord's Coffees. Make sure to defeat the Amducius in the Treno Weapon Shop. Um, you can also do the Colored Stones in Kondapiti over in the Mountain Path. And I guess Oglop Trade. Yeah, Oglop Trading, but I don't think we ever bothered with that because there's so little to do with it. Yeah, at best, the only thing you can get is like an Oglop card. And you can repeat that quest over and over again until you get past the point of no return. So if you've missed out on any of those, make sure to at least make a save right about here. Otherwise, you will lose access to that portion of the game. And the only way to get access to it again is to start a new save file. Which, if you've been playing up to this point, that's going to be painful. Now, who do we want in our team? Hmm... 
Need to check in and see who's still learning what. You know, perhaps we should be working on Amaranth, so we'll switch him in. And possibly Aiko. The only reason why I want to work on those two right now is because we're going to rapidly approach the end of the game. And as you know before, we were just about to defeat Ozma, but we're still kind of held back by the fact that our characters just don't have enough hit points, so I'm going to do my best to build those characters up. Let's switch that out. So I'm going to get rid of VB and Dagger at this point. We're going to take Amaranth and Aiko. Why these three? Well, because they have arguably the best set of abilities in the game for defeating Ozma, the super boss. You can also use some different characters, but I just prefer using these three. Unfortunately, you can't get rid of Zidane, so he's here to stay. Hmm. What can we equip here? Well, if we're not learning anything, how can we best improve his equipment, or his stats, I mean? You want either the Enkai Armlet or the Power Wrist here. I don't see any Power Wrist, so we're going to put on the Enkai Armlet. We are already using the Mantra Band. Hmm. Over here, you should probably put on Dark Gear, but I don't think we have any Dark Gear. Yeah, no Dark Gear. We do have Ninja Gear. Well, in that case... Well, let's just throw on whatever we have to learn, starting with this one. And then for this one... Let me go ahead and learn Auto Life. Yeah, we're gonna learn Auto Life. Plus, you can also learn Revive as well. Revive is another handy way of picking back up our party members without the use of items. In general, Amaranth has some very helpful monk abilities. Now for Aiko. We'll start off with that and then let's continue learning new stuff. Or do we not have anything else? Well, in that case, um... Do we have the Holy Mitre? No. No Holy Mitre. Instead, throw on the Green Beret. And then the Magic Armlet. For the body, we want one of two things. Oh, by the way, our new rubber suit. This is apparently only available to women. The robe of lords is probably the best thing that we can use. And we still have a number of other things to learn here as well. I guess we'll start by learning Auto Life. By the way, what is this Guardian Mog ability? I don't seem to remember it.
Mog protects with the unseen forces. I don't remember what that does. Either way, let us go ahead and throw on... Man, I need more of these. Let me go ahead and throw on the auto life ability. And then let's go ahead and go around and throw this on. More HP is always a great thing. Alright, so this is going to be our point of no return save file. It doesn't mean that we'll be at the end of the game yet once we complete the next section. But this is just so we can mark our place. Alright. Now is probably your best chance to run around and do a few more things. Otherwise, if not, let us go find our way to that super secret place called Terra. How do we get to Terra? We're gonna need to fly to somewhere around over here. It's going to be a mysterious island in the middle of nowhere. Did I? No, never mind. I have this wrong. It's not just over here, it's right here. My mistake. This is your last chance to turn back, otherwise let's go. Mr. Zidane, I'm showing abnormal readings. It feels like the ship is getting sucked in. Zidane, it might be dangerous to keep going. Here, take my sword. Are we gonna bust in on the airship? All we know is that this is the entrance. I heard the people of Estogaza call it the Spirit Road. The path that leads souls to Terra. Maybe it's a teleportation gate like the one in Kuja's hideout. Mr. Zidane, we're going to get sucked in. What shall I do? What now, Zidane? We may not be able to turn back. Um, I guess the game allows for you to choose one final time whether you want to go in or not. Let's keep going. Keep moving forward. We're going out on the deck. What do you mean? If Dagger is right, we can jump into the teleporter. From this height? We'll be fine. Considering all that we've been through, this is nothing.
You know, I wonder, of all the characters that we get to see, it's our four main characters plus Aiko. What happened to Quina and Freya and Amarant? Anywho, um, could this be Terra? What is this light? Could it be? Who the hell is this guy? So you finally came. What do you mean, finally? The time has come at last, and who the heck are you? Gotta slow your roll there, buddy. Come on, Zidane, let him explain himself. Ask my name, will you? Then let us ask... What is your name? What is your name? Me, my name is... Hey, what's your problem? I'm trying to tell you my name. So you believe a given name has meaning? Boy, you have been bewitched by the light of the blue moon. What do you know? You must be from Terra. You know nothing, and that is all. Come and see for yourself. See what Terra is and what you are. Hey, hang on. Well, so much for that. The mysterious, excuse me, the mysterious old man is now gone. Um, what happened to everyone else? Was Zidane the only one that could see that? Zidane. Dagger, are you alright? Yes, everyone's fine. Come, let's hurry. Now, despite the fact that Dagger is with us, we don't have to take her. I'm going to keep my current party. Alright, time to explore the mysterious land of Terra. Before going anything or going anywhere else. Oops, hang on. Why is Terra spelled like something a kindergartner would? Who is that over there? Hmm. You know, I don't remember anyone by that name. You'll have to remind me. Um, it'll come back to me sometime later. Oh, hey. Chasing after girls as always, huh, Zidane? Before going up there, we're going to run over here and pick up this chest. Oh, crap. We cannot pick up this coronet. Well, shoot. The Lord of the Dragoons. Oh, you mean Viper? My bad. It was misspelled, so... Thought you mentioned someone else. Yeah, I mean, he looks kind of similar to Viper, in a strange way. In the way an old man could only look like an old man sort of way. Alright, this uh, new Dragon Wrist is kind of helpful. I mean, you get reduced damage from Shadow, but I think you should already have multiple pumice pieces by this point, so I wouldn't bother with it. But yeah, I think I remember who you're talking about. He has the same sort of, like, gray... gray uniform sort of thing going on. But that old guy and Viper are distinctly two different people. 
All right. If you're full up on coronets, we just need to equip one and then open up the box. That's how you get around the full inventory. Now, there we go. Shoot. It's somewhat similar, but that old guy has a weird... His chest is not entirely there. You'll see what I mean. The, the graphics here don't really show up very well. But if you look closely, he doesn't even have a chest. Alright, so pick up that and then let's go down over here. There's another quick chest here for an elixir. What is going on with her? Is that Diddy Kong? Hey, wait up. No, never mind. Now, what's that other girl monkey from Donkey Kong Country 2? I think it's Trixie? Anyways, um, moving on. Let's keep following her. Where is she going? What's your problem? Maybe she's just scared of you. Where did she go? Before doing anything else, though, there are a couple more things that we can pick up here. Grab the remedy. And then we're going to go up. And if we jump across over here... There is a hidden chest over here with a mithril racket. If you don't have room... Well, time to equip one. I'm glad that's a quick workaround for not having enough room in your inventory. Otherwise, we'd have to leave these things behind. So grab that there, and then we can climb down here. Don't worry about her. A demon's vest. That demon's vest will be replaced. Hang on here. What do I want for Zidane? I didn't take a look at this. Hmm. I guess we can keep the demon vest on. We don't have dark gear yet. Who are you? And why do you look so similar? You don't remember anything, do you? Follow me and you will understand us. And maybe your own heritage as well. Hey, wait. Hold on a sec. Heritage? What does she mean by that? Only one way to find out. Once you go on, you'll see. If you say so. But first, we must battle.
Nothing really to worry about here. Let's eliminate them and move on. Oh, sweet. So, Quina's weapon can stall out these enemies. Nice. Quick reflect on to them. Did I ever remove... No, I didn't. I still have auto-reflect on. That's why none of its magic is actually working on us. I suppose if you're looking to have an easier time here, just keep auto-reflect on. Zidane's looking really good. Already hitting for 5,000. Now is definitely the time to keep leveling up your characters. There is a portion of this area where it becomes rather difficult if you want to get past. So without using cheats or anything of that like, make sure you're fairly strong, especially with Zidane. Let's keep that on. I mean, those look good. We don't need auto reflect. Instead, give me auto haste. I'm going to take off Insomniac so we can put on Auto Regen. I mean, in general, I still think Auto Haste is better, but Auto Regen has its uses, especially when you're dealing with low HP characters. Let me throw this on. Make sure you have Loudmouth on all of your casters. Okay, so over here... Hmm... Let's go over here. There's like a hidden wall. And a hidden tunnel. Go around over there, pick up the Minerva Plate. The Minerva Plate is rather powerful. You can only equip it on women. But in terms of stat boosting, this thing is the way to go. Now, where are we? Actually, no. I guess we don't really need it at this point. So grab the Minerva plate and then continue upwards, I think. Yeah, we need to go upstairs, but before we do that, let me go ahead and equip a few other things. If you have any earth absorption gear, put it on. Um, let's see. Nothing there. And maybe if you have any lightning protection gear, probably throw that on. Hmm, what absorbs... 
electricity. Probably don't have anything that can absorb electricity. At least nothing that I want to switch out for. Um, I should have a coral ring. I'll throw that on. Now let's go ahead and move up over here. What the heck? What is this place? It looks really artificial, so different than before. Yeah, but it doesn't seem very lively. Welcome home. Who's home? This is where you belong. The place to which you shall offer yourself is here. This has got all the stylistic choices of Toys R Us. <laughs> Hold on a second. What the heck are you talking about? What the hell? Dagger, wake up. So why did she associate the red uh, circle on that ship with a demonic eye? Dagger, wake up. Damn it, what the hell is going on? Maybe it's the sort of thing as a kid your mind makes up. You're... You are completely oblivious. Just like a newborn child. You don't know why you were given life, or for what purpose you exist. You simply shout to emphasize your life, your own existence. You are completely oblivious. We gotta find a place for her to rest. Zidane, leave the princess to me. You must go reconnoiter at once. Yeah, you're right. There's gotta be some place around here. Watch over, Steiner. I'll be right back. Um, if you were using Dagger and Steiner, well, too bad. You lose access to them. But if you're looking for an additional white mage, hint, hint, here she is. I mean, if you're looking for another knight, there's another one too. So you have a backup for one of each. Well, awesome. Now before we move on, let's go down over here. Now, what the heck is this? What's going on? Everyone has a tail and their hair is just like mine. Yeah, funny. Now, somewhere around over here is a hidden path. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. Grab the flash hat. 
What does the flash hat do? It will power up your thunder or holy attacks. Nice. But considering that there's a damage cap in this game, and there are very few multi-hitting attacks, you're better off just powering up your cheapest attack, which coincidentally happened to belong to Queena, Zidane, and Freya. Plus, if I remember right, they kind of ignore defenses too, so... The most that you can ever... De the most damage you could ever deal at once is 9999. Alright, grab that, and then let's go over here. This looks like a good place for Dagger to get some rest. But what's up with everyone here? They're all so stiff. I don't know why, but I have a bad feeling about this place. Well, first things first, I gotta bring Dagger back here. Excuse me. Do you have any medicine? No, nothing. About five cents. Maybe even a quarter? One gill? Two gill? Three gill? Hello, is there a place I can buy some medicine around here? No, nothing. I think that loincloth a little is a little too tight. That's why they're not speaking. Hello? I'm asking if you have any medicine. Ugh. How come this place is full of weirdos? <laughs> That's funny coming from her. Everyone has a tail like Zidane. Aw. If I could only find some Pimo Pimo herbs or I could make some wake-up powder for her. But is this my lucky day? No. What the heck is a Pimo Pimo herb? Huh? Found ya. You're that girl, right? It's your fault Dagger collapsed, you know. Oh, never mind. Say, don't you have any medicine at all? She will soon awaken. What is she all knowing? How do you know? Where is your man? She has a man. My, my man? My man? Are you talking about Zidane? Even I never called him that. It's official. Zidane is Aiko's man. Quote, unquote. But too bad for you. He and Dagger are super hot for each other. I feel like the fact that we're trying to make it as obvious as possible for Zidane and Dagger to be in a relationship is a direct response to Final Fantasy VIII's relationship. You don't have a chance with them. Tell him I'm waiting in the underground laboratory. Oh, the nerve. What makes you think I'd tell him that? Hey, where do you think you're going? What a bimbo. Oh, I don't have time for this. Aiko truly speaks her mind. Dagger. Princess, why must you suffer more? I goes like the total opposite of a Disney princess. Damn it. What's the matter, Zidane? You haven't been yourself at all. What the heck do you mean I haven't been myself? No. No answer. I'm sorry. I don't even know what's wrong with me. I just... I just can't concentrate with its blue light. 
Yeah, it happens to the best of us. Excuse me, best of us. Blue light will make you kind of irritable. It reduces your ability to sleep. Oh, but hey, she's awake. Probably because of all that blue light. Princess, you have awoken. What made you lose consciousness so suddenly? I remembered. Remembered what? It wasn't a storm that destroyed Madain Sari. It was... It was the eye on that airship that destroyed Madain Sari. You remember, don't you? The eye was also there when Alexandria was leveled. Yes, there was a large eye in the sky above from which light emanated. Now that you mention it, it was there when Bahamut went wild at the Ifa tree. Yes, it was there in the sky. It must be the same airship. What? Then that must be the airship that slew Her Majesty. Rusty. Oh, I'm sorry, Princess. Don't worry about it. I've already come to terms with that. That ship took everything from me. It took away my parents, my homeland, Alexandria, everything. How terrible. Dagger, are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. No, you're not. You're still pale. You gotta rest. Hmm? How come everyone looks so pale? What's wrong? No need to be concerned. A strange place such as this is cause enough for exhaustion. Oh. Hey, where are you going, Zidon? Oh, that's right. That weird girl. The girl that led us here said something strange again. She said she was waiting for you in some underground laboratory. What a pervert. What? I don't know what part of that makes you think she's a pervert. Zidane? On our own again. Well, not yet. Let's go ahead and go over here. Actually, hang on. Hmm. What are we doing here? There should be some sort of treasure chest somewhere around here. Oh, right, this thing. Grab the elixir. Hmm, it's okay, I'm watching over Dagger. You better be. Now, let's see. You gotta go southeast. And then all the way over to the eastern side. Actually, no, I think I'm in the wrong place. Hang on. Instead, let's head up here. If you head up here and then exit to the southeast, go over here, and then into the next building over here. There's a treasure chest. Pick up the wing edge. It's for Amarant. Don't worry about it. And then what about this chest? Well, not chest. This weird-looking pot. What the heck is this? Oh, hey, it's another Moogle. This one's named Moorock. Thanks, Koopo. I was trapped inside Koopo. I think I liked the pot better when it had the weird-looking red bonbon on top. In exchange for saving me, Koopo, I opened a, sh a shop for you here. Are you sure it's his shop instead of 
you know, a place for where all these other people collect their stuff. In any case, let's steal the stuff. There are items of all sorts here. Crap. Well, we're out of money. Not to worry, though. Let's get a refill. Otherwise, if you were looking to purchase everything here, expect to grind a few battles to get enough cash for everything. But we don't have any time for that, so I'm just going to go ahead and pick up everything just like so. It feels nice to be rich. There's a whole bunch of stuff here that we can pick up. Good luck to you if you're looking to get 99 copies of everything. It is extremely expensive. And as you see there, you basically had to reach the money cap and then some just to get everything. Sweet. Okay, so let's pick up all those items and then I think he has a letter. What's Mognet? I've never even heard of it, Koopo. Do you want to try Mognet? I need you to deliver mail. Funny. He doesn't know anything about Mognet, but he has a letter ready for us to go. I want you to l deliver a letter to Mazme. Who's Mazme? Well, we'll take the letter. Okay. Now that we have the letter to Mazme. <laughs> now Murag loves Mognet. Just make sure to grab the letter and then... Let's see, let's head out. And then if you re-enter the building... Look who it is! It's Stiltskin. Where did you come from, buddy? He'll have a set of diamonds, ethers, and elixirs for you. Make sure to purchase it. The diamond, the ether, and elixir is now yours. Thanks, buddy. I can continue my journey with this money. How do you even get here, anyway? I mean, we literally needed an airship just to get here. What a strange place. Well, strange indeed. I'm going to make a quick save. I don't recommend overriding your old save, just in case. Once you're here, you can't leave until you finish the events. Alright. After that... Let's head back to the inn. Or wait, hang on. Where's the inn? Never mind. It wraps around... No, there is no in here. Never mind, this might not be it. Hmm. In that case, did we ever grab the elixir? No, I did not grab the other elixir. Do to do to do. Oh wait. There are some things that I did not pick up yet. Okay, what are we looking for? 
Oh, if you need to rest, speak to Freya. Let's do that. And then we'll exit out, and somewhere around over here... Pick up the angel earrings. Now we want to go down to the lab. And that's going to be over here. Before speaking to her... There's an elixir here. What is going on with those people? Okay, now we can speak to her. Oh, so that's what's going on. Jeez, I should have guessed. So this is what you wanted to show me? What is that anyway? Some sort of... chamber? Yes, I'm glad you understand. I don't want to understand. Sorry, but I'm not like that. I mean, all these guys with tails who look just like me. They're a bunch of zombies. They are my peers. We are called genomes. We live in this village. Genomes? Is that what they're called? Not just them, but you and me too. It is the name of the seed given to all of us. Its name is Genome. Talk about a letdown. Who would have guessed that the home I've yearned for would be a dump like this? The irony. No wonder I never found it. It's not even on Gaia. Why are you not happy you have returned to the place of your birth? Happy? You guys can process that emotion? Look at them. Look at all their blank faces. What can we do? After all, we are made that way. And we are built to watch over each other and work together as soulless genomes. So Zidane has more in common with VB than you might expect. What's it all for? Get to the point already. How come I grew up on Gaia if I was born here? I'm alive. I have a soul. Why is everyone here so? Because you are special. What? We are mere vessels. You have been given a greater purpose. And that purpose is to be the main protagonist of a Final Fantasy title. The will of Garland is absolute. Garland? Who's that? If you've ever played the original Final Fantasy... I mean the original, original, as in the SNES, or not SNES, the NES title. You'll recognize the name. Let's go ahead and follow her. Garland watches over this planet. His mission is to restore the people of Terra. Restore the people of Terra? You mean people besides these guys here? They are merely vessels. So am I, and so are you. But the true people of Terra have been asleep for ages, waiting for their time to come. When the time is right, the light of this planet will change from blue to red, and Gaia will become Terra. Wait a sec. So the people of Terra are out to take over Gaia? What else can there be? Terra has always absorbed new planets to survive. And when the time comes, the souls of the people of Terra will occupy the genomes. 
Such is the restoration of the people of Terra. Why do they have to be so tedious? No clue. Why don't they just wipe us out with magic like they did Alexandria? Once, Garland tried to use a more forceful method, but failed. Then he should just quit and leave Gaia alone. Because of his failure, he was forced to wait a long time. To wait until Gaia's civilizations gained tremendous power. The power to use Eidolons. So that's why you attacked the Summoner's Village and destroyed Alexandria. Planets have a cycle of souls. Souls are born from the planet and then return to it. Garland planned to gain control of that very cycle. And you were supposed to help him achieve that. Ooh, the twist. What? Garland is waiting for you. Come. What do you think you're doing? I don't care about all this Terra and Gaia stuff. Well, Zidane isn't back yet. Too busy goofing off, probably. And with Dagger not feeling well, I wonder where he is. I go. No, Dagger, you can't get up yet. I'm alright. Listen, I want to ask you a favor. Oh? Just tell me and I'll get right on it. I want you to go find Zidane. Huh? Well, okay, sure. Oh, I get it. You're getting jealous. He's probably out on a date. No, I'm not. I just have a feeling something terrible is going to happen. Alright, I'll go get him. So you just stay here and rest. Talk about women's intuition. But before we do that, there's a place to call home. Now, who is the subject of this ATE? Oh no, it's Queena. Ah yeah, what big stone. Why well, y'all watch stone? Is stone edible or is for barbecue? No answer. I think I, <laughs> I think I lick it. It's not a salt lick, Queena. You know answer, so you know mine, right? Hmm. Is very salty. Ugh. So it really is just a salt lick. Oh. Who that? What you doing here, Zidane? Huh? Oh, hi, Queena. You stand here, say nothing, then you, just like other dummy dummies, no can tell difference. They say someone always has double somewhere. There's so many of you here. The world's strange place, no? Yeah, I guess. Zidane, what matter? You know, seem yourself. Hmm. Oh, it's nothing. I'm always myself. Besides, it's not just me. You look just like your master, too. Hey, that was what I was about to say. There are multiples of every character of every... I don't know, quote-unquote race. You got the Black Dolls, the Genomes, the Ku Clan... Of course, Master Quail is Ku Clan. We same. Yeah? I guess everybody looks the same to someone from another race. Hmm. Maybe you're right. What'd he say? Same race? Uh, 
All right. There are three more ATEs. Let's check them all out. Where the heart is. Oh, it's Phoebe. Excuse me. No? No words? So, um, what do you guys do here? No response. Hmm. Oh, yeah. This blue light sure is pretty, isn't it? No? Not a single response? You like it too, right? You're all looking at the blue light. The light is unpleasant to us. It burns. <laughs> so why are they staring at the light if it's unpleasant? Oh, really? Huh? It's that girl. Hmm? Hey, Zidane, what are you up to? What do you mean? What are you doing, Vivi? I'm trying to talk with the natives. This boy here seems to be my age and everything. You're wasting your time. They won't give you a decent answer. Oh. But I think I can get through to them. Huh. I'm surprised you feel that way. I don't know why, but... I... I feel like we're similar. Similar? What do you mean? I know they're similar to me, but... No. No, not like that. They're a lot like the black mages we saw in the cargo ship and in Clara. Of course we don't look like... Excuse me. Of course we don't look alike at all. But I can see one thing. Their minds aren't hollow. I think that their minds are just out to lunch for a little while. That's a strange way of putting it. Out to lunch? Hmm, not hollow, huh? Zidane? Yeah, Vivi... The black dolls or black mages, they're far more similar to these genomes than you might think. If you consider that the genomes are made for a single purpose, it's also similar to the black mages where they're also created for a single purpose too. Okay, well, we are here. And now, what to do? Nothing over here. So, let's go around town. Came into this world. Who came into this world? This way. Hey, Zidane. Oh, it's Amaranth. We haven't seen him for a while. What do you want? What? That's no way to say hello. I know, how rude, right? What the hell is this place? I thought we'd find some mean mothers down here. Wait, mean mothers? Was he... Nah, never mind, I probably shouldn't say. But they're all a bunch of wimps. I think he was trying to curse here, but... I guess he's been censored. Unlike, say, Barrett. No challenge, huh? Yeah, I guess not. Hey, Amaranth, can I ask you something? No. Do you have any parents or family? What a stupid question. Sorry, I was just curious. I don't remember any loving parents. 
my first memory is of the face of a guy I had to fight. Really? So, from the age of four or so, he had to fight a guy? Man, that's the toughest four-year-old I know. I only found meaning in life through combat. Funny how you put that in past tense. All due to my wonderful influence. Psh, what do you want me to do? Thank you? Please, you're gonna make me sick. How about you? I love how they can't even bear to face each other. They're talking to each other, backs facing each other. What, you mean my parents? I don't have parents. So I guess Baku doesn't count. Anyways. Oh, by the way, we can still talk to these NPCs. I'm just choosing not to. Heightened recognition of visual stimuli is a necessary condition for bodies to be used as vessels. Their dialogue is very dry. In time, we will receive souls, then our bodies will begin to grow. I mean, it's cool and all if you want to learn more backstory on them. But it's not necessary. Hey, Aiko. Zidane just went. You saw Zidane? Uh, yeah. Hello, why didn't you stop him? Huh? How come? He was acting kind of strange. If you're looking for him, I'll go with you. Cool. Can we, so we can bring Vivi along with us now. By the way, um, if you want other party members, remember over here, we can speak to Quina. The truth. What is the truth? Hey, where are you taking me? I told you, you're going to see Garland. Yeah, of course, but this way is a dead end. There is a way. See? You may find him through the portal. He awaits where the souls sleep, the floating castle where souls bide their time until their restoration. Pandemonium. Will you not say farewell to your friends? I don't care what I am. I was born here, wasn't I? If so, then I am an enemy of the people of Gaia. You learn quickly. Make no mistake, I won't join your side. I just... If we are actually relatives, then... Then I want to take care of this little family matter myself. I think they're only family in the loosest kind of terms. Oh, Eiko, what happened to Zidane? He seemed much worried. I don't know. He just left without saying a, a word. We go look for Zidane together. Why not? Let's take you along, and I think we have one more person to pick up. But well, before going forward, let me at least throw a few things onto Vivi here. Vivi, I think we have pretty much learned everything for you. So in terms of stats and gear, what do we want on you? We don't have any Holy Miters, so we'll throw on the Green Beret. The Magic Armlet. 
And do we have an extra robe of lords? Yes, we do. And then where's our ribbon? Vivi, we want you to have... Not this. We don't need that anymore. I don't think we really need clear-headed in this area. Um, let's throw on auto-regen. Auto-haste is fine, but... I think Vivi has very little defenses, so... He's going to get hit, and he's going to get hit hard. We want to keep his health up. And here's Mr. Amaranth. Say, Amaranth, did Zidane go this way? Yeah, seems so. He had a real serious look on his face. I knew something was wrong. Gonna go look for him, right? Huh? I'm trying to say I'll go with you. Catch my drift? How kind of him. And... Outside of maybe Vivi, we have a team of... The late game characters. I don't see why... Quina, or not Quina. I don't see why Freya isn't part of the party. That's weird. But Vivi is here. Oh well. Hmm, let's see. Do we need anything? No, I think we're still fine. The only thing I would switch up here is for antibody, but there it is. All right, let's move forward. Where, oh, where did Zidane go? Uh, you're in the way. Oh, never mind. Now you listen to me. Where did you take Zidane? He went on his own to see Garland. Garland? Ooh, that's a sinister name. But Zidane wouldn't just leave us hanging. He went. Yes. He went to find out the reason for his existence. Excuse me. He went to find out the reason for his existence. That's a mouthful. Liar. That's a terrible lie. I am an enemy of the people of Gaia, he said, as he walked through the gate to Pandemonium. Where's the gate? We gotta tell the others. Heaven grant the wandering souls eternal repose. So this must be Garland's haunted mansion. Talk about bad taste in interior decorating. I don't know if you should be throwing shade about that because there doesn't seem to be any decorations. Alright, time to teach this tyrant a thing or two. Also, you should probably check out Zidane's equipment too. He looks fine. So we meet again. Who is it? Kuja? Who are you? Yeah, so as I was saying earlier, take a look at Garland's chest. There's just a red power core there. 
12 years ago, I lost one of my most prized genomes. I created him and sent him to Gaia to disrupt the cycle of souls there. You are that genome. I am glad you have returned. Shut up. Nobody tells me what to do. And I didn't come here to answer to you. Let me guess. You must be Garland. And what if I am? Then you're going down, bro. But first, you're going to tell me everything. That's right, we're going to ask questions first before killing him. Like, why did I grow up on Gaia, and why do you want to destroy it? I have no intention of destroying Gaia. I only wish to make Gaia into Terra. What did you just say? Of course, not everything went as planned. You growing up on Gaia, for example. There is another one built as you were. He may be the one who threw a wrench into my gears. He? Who the heck are you talking about? Someone you know quite well. Follow me. The time when the aura of Gaia will turn to the crimson glow of Terra has not yet come. I may need your help anyway. What does that mean? He needs our help? Pandemonium. The name is a reference to Final Fantasy 2. Stop. He's not stopping. Well, he's not stopping and we gotta get closer. Now tell me everything. I constructed the genomes to be vessels for the souls of the people of Terra when they awaken. But 24 years ago, I gave life to a genome that was very much like you. His will was too strong to make him into a proper vessel, and I even discard, excuse me, and I even considered discarding him. But then I thought that I should put his strength to use. I sent that genome as my servant to disrupt the cycle of souls on Gaia. Yeah, so tell me who he is already. More exposition. Do you not yet know? You and he are so much alike. Nah, I don't know. Who is he? Alike? I've never met anyone like me. You judge only by appearances. I mean someone with a soul similar to yours. The one I sent to Gaia might also be called your brother. Brother in a very loose sense. And his name is Dun 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 Kuja. Kuja? He's a genome? Impossible. He doesn't even have a tail. I know, right? Kuja's like maybe about a foot taller. He is only hiding it. He denies his own identity. How is he hiding it? Well, it's probably covered by his thong. He rejects the meaning of his existence and tries to assert his own individuality. Don't you see the resemblance? No, not yet. Shut up. I'm not like him at all.
He said the same thing when talking or speaking about the other genomes. I'm not like these guys. You know, I normally say that about my siblings too. His ambition was unbecoming of a genome, but it was perfect for the mission I gave him. To bring war and chaos to Gaia. That was what I sent him to do. To induce an unnaturally chaotic flow. So then, why? The disruption of the flow of souls is best brought about by war. And what he did for me far exceeded my greatest expectations. What about me? How did I end up on Gaia? When you received the gift of life in Bran Ball, Kuja could not bear it. He could not bear to see a genome with more power than his own. He felt threatened. Kuja discarded you. He dropped you onto Gaia, the world he would destroy. So I was to be your slave, just like Kuja, to start a war on Gaia? That is correct. I did not expect Kuja to abandon you, but I believed it was his nature. And to him, bringing war to Gaia would prove his victory over you. Yeah, I can see, though, why you might see General Viper in him. An old man with a beard. Maybe with a long coat. Or in this case, he's wearing a cape. Perhaps it is because of his desire to justify his existence that he let you live as well. So, that's why the blood of thousands had to be spilled? Are you referring to Kuja's ambition or to our plan to disrupt the soul, the cycle of souls? Both. And what exactly do you gain by disrupting that cycle of souls or whatever? I know this is a lot to take in. We must sort the souls. I want to disrupt Gaia's cycle and destroy its I mean, not destroy um, drain its souls filling the void with the souls of Terra to speed the cycle of souls is to speed the work as a whole thus war and in time Gaia's souls are gone and Gaia becomes Terra but how? You saw it with your own eyes. You saw the Ifa tree and the mist it, it emits. The role of the Ifa tree is that of soul divider. The mist you see comprises the stagnant souls of Gaia. So the mist that was part of the game in like this one and two, it's not just any old mist. It's literally the dead souls of all the people on the planet. Oh yeah, but we stopped the mist. So much for that. All you saw was the back of the tree. Even now, the Ifa tree blocks the flow of Gaia's souls while it lets those of Terra flow freely. Come and see for yourself see the true form of this planet. What is this? Think of it as an observatory, a place to measure the radiance of Gaia and Terra. What are you talking about? 
And what is this weird light? That is the center of the planet, the end and the beginning of the cycle of souls. The light remains Gaia's for now, but when the blue changes to crimson, all will belong to Terra and its restoration will be complete. That is why I wrapped up the light in the Aoife tree, to prevent the cycle of the judgment of souls on Gaia from inside the planet. Such is the Aoife tree's true purpose, its true form. All you saw was its material form. The flow of Gaia's souls cannot be changed simply by stopping the disposal of mist. So, Kuja is just an angel of death who sends souls to the tree of Aoife. Yes, my angel of death. But only until you came of age. What do you mean? His soul is not eternal. I was going to create you next, after all. You mean you won't need Kuja's soul once I grow stronger than him? Precisely. Soon that time will come. So Kuja's gonna die and be discarded just like any other black mage. Well, now you should be fully aware of the meaning of your existence. Yeah, I'm aware of all the laughter, all the tears I've shared with the people I grew up with on Gaia. Forget all that. You are destined to live among the stars for all eternity. You are destined to become a god. You have the power, the position, and the motive to do it. I wouldn't want that kind of power if I only had a place to call home. My brothers in Tantalus, Vivi, Freya, Amaranth, Quina, Steiner, Aiko, and Dagger, my home is with them in Gaia. If you say I have a motive, then it's to punish all of you who brought pain to my friends. I'll destroy Gaia. That's reason enough for my birth here as a genome. Regrettable. I thought your soul would be perfect for a new angel of death. I am the new angel of death. Yours. Well, that's a badass statement. But don't you know what it means to meet your maker? Shut up. I've heard enough of your crap. I'm taking you out right here, right now. Foolishness. The body becomes a vessel which greets a new soul. What's happening? He's too good to make into a regular genome. But I have no choice. Meanwhile... Oh, hey, look. I can't believe I actually returned to this place, but... Soon. Soon the power will be mine alone. Wahaha, just you wait, Garland. And you too, Zidane. I'll exact sweet revenge upon you both for insulting me. I'll make the people of both Gaia and Terra know who rules over all of them. What is so funny? I guess he brought back the Invincible. Look at the Angel of Death sitting on his throne. 
Who am I? I don't know anything. I cannot think at all. Zidane. Yeah, I was called that once. Many people called me that. You always have to show off, don't you? Yeah, maybe I do. Why, you worthless medicant or mendicant thick. Never heard that word before. Yep, sounds about right. How very becoming of you. Becoming of me? I really learned a lot by traveling with you, Zidane. Yeah, right. I have nothing to teach. You teach me many things more important than tasty munchies. No, I don't know anything. You call that friendship? Friendship. Friendship, what does it mean to have friends? Sedan. I don't know who I am. You were always there for me, Zidane. I'm so tired. How come you're always so... I... I'm an empty vessel. Zidane. Who the hell is that? Wake up, Zidane. Who? Come on, Zidane. Wake up. Oh, look who's here to greet the king. Ow. Zidane. It's Phoebe and Aiko. Thank goodness you're alive. We thought you were dead. Oh, I... We were so worried. Why did you come here all by yourself? What? What are you doing here? Huh? We came to save you, of course. And it wasn't easy. You went off all alone. Yeah, my way. Leave me alone. Huh? This has nothing to do with you. Oh, come on. You know you screwed up when Vivi's pissed off. There he goes, being the tough guy. Look, Zidane, it's not just about you. Come on, Zidane. Don't be like that. Let's... Shut up. Just shut up, you stupid brat. Aw, oh, poor Vivi. Zidane? Zidane left you guys trapped there. All right, Zidane's going through an existential crisis. Zidane, wait up. You need rest, Zidane. Well, you little twits, just shut up. Man, he's really mean now. Letting all those intrusive thoughts in. There are some things kids can't understand. Never mind the fact that he's only like 16. Oh crap, remember this guy? If you're doing a low level run, this is probably where the game becomes extremely difficult. We need to move on. Crap, I probably should have thrown on antibody or something.
Looks like you need some help. Crap. Frey is not equipped for this. I hope Freya doesn't die because she's sort of a liability here. Let me just try my best to steal everything from whatever this thing is. Let me go ahead and use the tech to see if there's anything worthwhile, though. If it's not worth it, then we'll uh, kill it and move on. An ether. That's literally it. So let's kill it. No use sticking around here anymore. Wow. One small crit will reduce its health by nearly the cap. That poison is probably going to be the death of the dawn. Can't you even take care of yourself? My first time here, I had the worst time getting past this fight when I was trying to do that low level run. If you don't get the first turn off, then you're pretty much guaranteed to die. Well, so much for hitting it. Crap. Not good, buddy. If your health is anywhere below 1,000, you won't be able to do much here. You'd probably have to go back and grind some levels. Kind of like that. So instead we'll just have Zidane do most of the heavy lifting here. There we go, now it's dead. But this isn't the end of it. How foolish of you to go alone. Is it? Damn hypocrite. Always talking about friendship when you're nothing but a selfish loner. I can take care of myself. Come back, Zidane. Come on, bro. You left four of your friends hanging. Oh, no. What's next? Not Steiner. Oh, hey, it's Freya. Or not Freya, Quina. I will not be defeated so easily. Now I'm mad. I cook you good. Steiner, Quina, what are you doing? They're fighting, obviously. This thing looks pretty gnarly. I hope you have some of the best items equipped because this is going to be very difficult. You might want to use some of your magic here, like Mighty Guard. Oh, 
And then if you have any, I guess, sword techniques available, you could probably use that as well. And then can we kill this thing? No, never mind. That didn't even hit. Please don't kill us. All right, that saved us. I think I was better off just using auto life. You guys. You're late, Zidane. Well, better here than never. So what does this thing have, and should we even bother to steal from it? An ether and vaccine. That's nothing great. So we're going to frog drop it. If you have high hit points with Steiner, using his... Minus Sword is pretty useful. We gotta kill it here and now. Or if you're looking to have an easier time, use Bad Breath. We're gonna drop some frogs on it. This is why we keep picking up more frogs for Quina. It'll give chance, excuse me, it'll give a chance for Quina to hit her damage cap before she even hits like level 99. Hmm. What an unworthy opponent. Zidane, you know, can leave us. I still want you to take me place have lots good food. And I have not yet concluded whether or not you are the right man for her highness, mind you. When do you turn into a matchmaker? Just leave me alone. I don't want to trouble you anymore. Well, they're stunned into silence. You're all a bunch of babysitting bastards. Wow. I never expected those words out of him about his friends. But trust me, I know that I'm the worst bastard here. I really do hope that you keep your health levels up because this is one big boy. If you die here, then you pretty much have to restart, well, at whatever room you just entered from. He's got an elixir. Also, this is why we have Gaia gear equipped. If you're doing, excuse me, if you're doing a truly, you know, quick run of this game for the trophy, you might not have picked up any equipment, so it's going to make our fights slightly more difficult. That's why you want to get the first shot off no matter what. And these fights are not how they are normally. 
You could have like the max damage cap and it still won't die. They're scripted. Look who showed up. It's Dagger. Is this how you want to solve the problem? Well, maybe I do. I wonder if we can use Odin to insta-kill it. Never mind, it's immune, so don't expect Odin to do the hefty excuse me, heavy lifting for you. Oh no. This doesn't look good for Dagger. By the way, did we pick up the... the elixir? I need to check. Odin's main specialty is just using insta-kill, and if enemies are immune to insta-death, well, obviously it won't work. That ain't cool. You'll probably have the best luck of completing this fight if you use Zidane to continuously steal over the course of the game. That way, if you haven't reached a level cap, he'll most likely already be doing a lot of damage anyway. There is a workaround for Odin if you don't want that insta-kill move. You just have to equip the support ability, but I don't have it on. There we go. Now it's dead. And for as much XP he gives us, we don't even level up. Dagger. Is he going to be a dick to Dagger as well? You try to do everything by yourself, don't you? Try to understand. I don't want to cause trouble to anyone. Aren't we your friends? I want to think so. That's why I always... Look, I'm not from Gaia. I was just a hairbreadth from becoming the destroyer of Alexandria. I can't accept your friendship so easily. You've always protected us. But you still don't understand that we looked out for you, too. We watched your back while you watched ours. And we believed in you the same way you believed in us. Just like you protected us, we want to protect you. Dagger. You say it. My master tell me, somebody you give you tasties, you give them tasties too, is good manners. I still not cook you succulent frog yet, Ugh. Zidane. Quina. 
Oh. Everybody is coming back. Chivalry requires a knight to look after his comrades in arms. I will not abandon you. And I shall follow you to kingdom come if I must. You remember that. And Steiner's come a long way. They used to be at each other's throats in the beginning. And now they're willing to die for each other. Alright, that's Steiner. What happened to everybody else? Ha! What am I going to do with you guys? The feeling is mutual. Alright, let's go. Wait. <laughs> Where are the four others? You don't think they've been trapped? It's possible. You should not have left them. That's right. I mean, really. Aw, oh, man. We gotta backtrack. I'm sorry. Let's head back. Together this time. You know, screw that, man. I want to move forward with the game. Oh, well. Um, let me go ahead and re-equip everything. I don't think it matters too much what we're wearing here because we're only supposed to take a quick jog back. Let's see, we got the circlet. The music here is also a nice touch as well. Hmm. What are we throwing on dagger? Right, the ribbon. Oh wait, I forgot. I never learned these, so... I'll throw that on. Steiner has a bunch of things we need to learn for him. But for now, let me just toss on all the strongest gear that he can take on. And there we go. Let's head back. Oh, there they are. Zidane. Zidane, why did you leave us? I'm sorry. You were right. I needed everyone's help. Don't leave us again, okay? Never. So, you've had a change of heart. What a busy guy, coming and going all the time. Yeah, but not anymore. We have to stop Garland. Oh yeah, that's right. A Moogle followed me all the way from Bran Ball. Just tell me if you need to rest, Koopo. Alright, now we can work our way out of this depressing castle. Because we're all together now. Got that right. Okay, never mind. I guess we can switch out these characters. We don't need them. I probably put on everything as a precaution too early. What up, buddy? Uh, Murak. Let me pick up everyone's items. Don't worry about that. Let's strip everything off. I haven't decided if we're going to take the time to really grind up all of our characters. I think I might just take whatever characters I'm going to need for the super boss and then probably leave it at that. So just these four characters is enough. Alright, 
now that we have everything, check out the shop. If you need to do some shopping, this little Moogle still has all the items from back when we were in Brand Ball. If you need a 10 up, go ahead. And then you should probably make a save here. Don't save it in the same place. Keep multiple save files. Like, especially this section in my speed run of the game to get the Excalibur 2, this is where I struggled the most. It was pretty difficult to get past this section because you needed a lot, a lot of luck. After having done all that, let me go ahead and check. Do we have any new letters? No. No new... Excuse me, no new letters. Okay. We can head out. Also, if you need to pick up the Zorlin shape, you'll need to pick that up here. I think it's the last one. By the way, um, Queena's abilities... Never mind. We already learned everything. If you haven't learned Twister, there's another enemy here that will allow you to learn it. Otherwise, let's go through this dungeon. Oh, this is going to be fun. We found a button. What exactly do we need to do with this? Crap. There's a challenge to this. Want to know what the challenge is? Well, you're going to hate this. Well, that was no good. I think it inflicted, yeah, virus, so let's get rid of it. No, I guess not. You have to use the vaccine to get rid of that. Nice. This thing is slightly strong. Stronger than most enemies that we've encountered up to this point. So make sure you have a bunch of vaccines because these enemies tend to use virus quite often. And if you get hit by virus, then you can't learn anything, or you can't earn any XP, I think. Yeah, that's terrible. Good thing it only happened to what's-his-face. Alright, in order to get past this you need to flip the switch and it'll open up a bridge over here. But you gotta do so while avoiding 
the pillars of light. See? Crap. Mmm, crap. Well... I think the main easy way is to just stick to the edges. Don't bother with going straight down through the middle. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you happen to use stop on enemies, then it'll automatically end the battle. Same thing goes with... Oh, I don't know. Um, Petrify? That will also end the battle as well. No, it's not a stone enemy. It's because of this. If you have add status effect on, Gastro Fork will cause enemies to stop. Maybe it's better if we use this one. I don't want to, like, end the battle completely. There we go. Got it. Make your way across before the time ends. And then what's this over here? Hmm. What are we doing? There's an ATE here that we can check out. So first off, let me go ahead and mess with this for a few times. Maybe that's one. No? Nothing? No, didn't give me anything. Hmm. Oh well. Doesn't seem to be working, so let's go ahead and continue on for just a brief moment. Hmm. Okay, so you can either mess with it until the ATE shows up. Okay, never mind. We'll just do this the proper way. We're going to set it to three. Set it to three, and then... We're going to run to the top of the segment and ride the elevator. Oh, so crap. It's one of these things. You know, I don't suppose we can... Mustard Bomb it. Please let it work. No. It does not work. But it seems to be flying now. Just for some insurance, I'm going to throw on Auto Life. It doesn't seem to be attacking, so that's good. Come 
mom, buddy. This thing is pretty strong. Well, on the bright side, it's not using bad breath, so I guess we're sort of fine. There we go. Cool. We learned a few more things here. Nope, still working on that. Time to get rid of the coral ring, and there we go. Also, this over here, we don't need. And I forgot to unequip this one. That's much better. Where the heck is the elevator? Oh wait, never mind. We gotta go up all the way to the top. This area can be kind of confusing. There are multiple chests that we can pick up. But in order to do so, we need to manipulate that elevator. Is it just me, or does it look kind of weird that Amaranth's arm is so oversized? I mean, just take a look at his claws. This is going to get annoying fast. They keep using virus on us. If you don't care about collectibles, you could probably end this area in one or two moves. On the plus side, we can keep farming for more XP. I need more MP. Okay, here we go. Go over here, take the elevator. Alright, so once you've taken the elevator, we're gonna ride that up here, and then we're supposed to run somewhere. Oh, right. Um, run up here. And then go over here, pick this up here, and pick this up. It's just free money. Not like we absolutely need it. And after having done that, we need to go back and change the settings on the elevator again.
By the way, how are we looking on thievery? That's still going to take some work. Remember how it was so much easier to kill all these, you know, trash enemies? Please don't die, Amaranth. The Malboros are surprisingly hard to kill. There goes our friend. So this place, you might be better served if you have clear-headed on. Queen and Zidane are looking very good in terms of XP. Alright, that's as much as we can afford. Let's get rid of counter and then... Let's throw on auto life because he's dying very quickly. Locomotion is no good. Where is clear headed? Do we even have that? No, I don't see clear headed. Instead, let's throw on ability up. Since we're learning a few more things here for Amaranth anyway. That reminds me. We're still learning a few more things for Aiko, so make sure she has the ability up. Same thing for Quina. Or maybe not. She learned that one, so what else is next? Or did we already did we already complete all of her abilities? Never mind. We've learned everything for Queena, so we don't need ability up for her. Take that off, and then it's really up to you. You could probably use Gamble Defense, but I never seem to have this work for me. I don't see any other good abilities, so. We'll toss that around, and then for equipment... Where is Quina? Okay, Quina should get a ribbon. Good enough. It's supposed to randomly increase your defense. But like I said, or like it says, it's a gamble. I normally never bother with it.
right over here, take the elevator from the very bottom, and ride it all the way to the top. Keep going. Oh, really? It doesn't... Dang it, hang on. Okay, so never mind. Catch the elevator down here, and then walk all the way to the top. And once you get to the very top, ride it from this side. We'll go up one floor. And over here... We're gonna go to a new area. All right, over here, there should be some sort of teleporter. Hang on. I think we want to go to this one over here. And then this one over here. Hey, what the heck? Never mind, that didn't even do anything. What about over here? This is... hang on here. I think I'm at the wrong spot. Hang on. Hang on, this part is a little confusing. Where, oh, where is the teleporter? So maybe not this area. Let me check out what other... Here we go. I went the wrong way. You're supposed to take this teleporter. Take this teleporter. Head over to the right. This will bring you down here. Grab the elixir. And then we're going to go over to this teleporter. That's going to drop you over here, and then you can pick up this one over here. We're looking pretty good at this moment. The same usual tricks will work here. Oh crap. Oh, it barely left them alive. Oh no, it's not dying. I wish there was some sort of immunity ability for that. The only trick that will work against it is to throw out the vaccine.
Aquina's signature move here is amazing. All right, Amarant has finished learning Aura. I forget if he has any other abilities worth using besides Revive. I don't remember if No Mercy was any good. In general, I prefer to use Amaranth as a sort of support character. Let's have you learn this. Okay. Grab the Carabini Mail. I need more... MP. Thank goodness we have a couple ethers. Okay, back to over this area. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna head back now. Once you've picked up all of those treasures, you're free to go over here and go back to where we were stuck on last time. Alright, we're gonna take this path over here. And then up over here. And then it will drop you right at this treasure chest. Grab the battle boots. And then we're going to make our way up to the Moogle. A little confusing, right? Also, what's up with the weird eye slash mouth thing in the background? This is Mazme. Let's go ahead and replenish our health and MP. Also, I might have to jump off for a quick moment here. Yeah, I'm going to make a save, and we're going to take a break. I need to go do something real quick. But I'll be back later tonight. Um, the next game we'll be playing is more FF8 Remastered. So if you're currently watching this on YouTube, please like the video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Let me know what you guys think. Share this video out wherever you guys can, and also subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. If you've missed out on any of our previous play sessions, make sure to check out our playlist, or hit up our hashtag LunarLightVault. Follow us over at twitter.com com slash Lunar Light Games. Over there you'll find deals, discounts, as well as news stories about the gaming world, as well as odd giveaway we run from time to time. Check out the pin post for more information, or hit up the hashtag Lunar Light Vault. Um, if you'd like to support our channel financially, you can do so by dropping a donation over at paypal.me slash Lunar Light Games. The link will be posted down below later. But if you're looking for other ways to support our channel, you can do so by dropping a donation or super chat over here on YouTube. Or you guys can sign up for our membership. But if you're looking for other ways to support our channel, you can do so by continuing to view our videos. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. 
Follow us over at twitch.tv slash lunarlightgames and also hit the notification bell across all of our platforms to get updates as soon as they're made available or to catch whenever we go live. But yeah, I need to take a quick break, but uh, we'll see you guys again later this evening. For now, take care and we'll see you then.